Hi, it's Giant Zero Reviews, and carrying on a somewhat Halloween theme to this month's videos, I'm going to be talking about a masterpiece of the video game genre and a masterpiece of the horror genre overall the iconic, the legendary Silent Hill Revelation. Go to hell! We're already here. Now obviously that is all a humongous joke, we're just going to be ragging on this terrible film for a bit because I thought it would be fun, I wanted to talk about it, um, so why not? Now before I start the review, it would be great if you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and hit the subscribe button if you're feeling extra generous. So without further ado, let's take it back to 2012, the year that the world was supposed to end. Maybe it was because of this film it didn't. Who knows, this film was worse than the fate of the world. Anyway. On with the review. The sequel to 2006's surprisingly decent visit to the foggy town of misery and mystery, Silent Hill Revelation sees Sharon De Silva, played by Adelaide Clemens, drawn into a strange and terrifying alternate reality after her father, played by Sean Bean, disappears. This place holds the answers to the horrific nightmares that have plagued her since childhood. Pretty much an amalgamation of everything wrong with both video game adaptations and post-2010's horror. Bogged down by its own convoluted lore, of which is presented in a confusing, boring and paper-thin plot that feels overstretched even at just 90 minutes. Poor performances and largely atrocious generic dialogue across the board make this frequently painful to both watch and listen to. Any semblance of horror and ambience boils down to a jump scare, and the occasional sparks of creative imagery are bogged down by a muddy, over-filtered colour palette and dodgy CGI. Supposedly an adaptation of Silent Hill 3, which I have yet to play. One of my friends who is a huge fan of the series, who also had the pleasure of watching this atrocity with me, said it was at least somewhat faithful to the source material at times, but far worse in execution. The film feels more like a series of events stitched together than an actual cohesive plot. The first 45 minutes or so before we actually get to Silent Hill are excruciatingly dull and simply serve to tick off every generic horror film cliché, before actually getting to the titular town. Cults, family bloodlines and lies, the town history are all relegated to exposition dumps and irritatingly presented flashbacks. This is an early 2010s horror film with supernatural elements, so of course the only scare technique is an utterly pathetic and laughable jump scare attempt. The garish insistence on pushing the 3D angle that the film largely sold itself on upon release is incredibly dated and gimmicky now. The CGI ranges from acceptable to terrible, the practical effects while suitably grim at points feel like very straight to DVD material. At least the budget was utilised on the series' two most iconic antagonists, both of which are utilised nonsensically. The sequence with the nurses adds nothing to the plot and breaks its own rules, and Pyramid Head's extended cameo ends with a laughable comic book-esque showdown so far removed from the character that it's almost unbelievable. And the score overuses the genuinely eerie original themes from the classic games to the point of annoyance. No one escapes the film without being tarnished by the abysmal writing and their own performances. Sharon is a boring protagonist, and thanks to the screenplay, Clemens is left to suffer with a myriad of cringe-inducing dialogue beats and forced hysteria. Kit Harrington is terrible here, quite possibly the least emotive performance I've seen when a character is in peril, and he and Clemens' chemistry is non-existent and the definition of wooden. Well-established performers Sean Bean, Carrie Ann Moss, who quite possibly is the worst antagonist I've ever seen in a horror film, and even Malcolm McDowell, all of whom I hope were clearly visiting the Silent Hill bank to cash their paychecks. Silent Hill Revelation might just be the worst video game film I've seen so far. Lacking all the atmosphere, dread and psychological mind games that its source material thrives upon, instead diluting its complex mythology to uninteresting guff that delivers the lowest common denominator of horror scare tactics. Poor performances from the whole cast, terrible dialogue, and a 90 minute runtime that will leave you begging to reach its finale as soon as possible. Overall, I give Silent Hill Revelation 2 out of 10. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've seen Silent Hill Revelation, or what's your favourite or worst video game adaptation. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, it means a lot, and I'll speak again soon on the next video. Cheers.